Yeah, so I'm a little early to celebrating Independence Day, but honestly, you can never be too early celebrating America. And you celebrate it with the Liberty Series from Camacho. It's eat, drink, smoke, or eat the fine food, drink the fine bourbon, and smoke the fine cigars. I'm Tony Katz. That right there is America's favorite amateur drinker. Fingers Malloy and Camacho has been doing this Liberty Series. I think this is year number 19. They're doing it. And you will know this because it comes in a coffin. Fingers Malloy. Is that what it is? It's what it is. It comes in a wooden box and it slides open. That is a coffin and it will reveal the Liberty Series, a seven by 48. What does that mean? The seven means it's seven inches long. Tee Always makes Fingers Malloy laugh. And the 48 is the ring gauge, right? So how thick the diameter, how thick the cigar is around. Tee Again, with the laughter. So a 64 ring gauge would be a full one inch around. Camacho makes a lot of different cigars in some very, very good price points. And admittedly, some are solid and some I can do without. And they're known for some of the, I, for me, some, some bigger flavors. Uh, what, you, what you get from that triple Maduro, which was on your top three fingers, Malloy, last year. Uh, that, that w- they do the partnership with Ditka, all right, and, and the Bears. I, I, I don't do it well. You, can you do it? Can you do a little Midwestern twang? Uh, bears. Yeah, you see, you can do it. Coming from Michigan, being a Michigander, you can do it. I come from Brooklyn and Jersey. I cannot uh, do I can do how you doing, right? There it is. I can do there that. Hell, hey, oh, right? <laughs> and anything else that gets me an email saying that I'm just being insensitive, <laughs> right? I can do that. This is a really, really worthwhile cigar when it comes out. And it's different uh, every year. This is an Ecuadorian wrapper with a Nicaraguan binder and a Dominican uh, and Honduran filter. The color is in, in a lovely shade of milk chocolate. This, the wrapper looks like it should be oily. It's not there. It is not an oily wrapper at all. And at 48, that's a very, very good ring gauge for me. I, maybe, I, maybe I would want this to be a touch bigger in that 50, but a 7 by 48 is a nice feel in the hand, what they would describe as a Churchill. And when you first uh, light this thing up, it came to punch you <laughs> in the face in a very, very pleasant way. You're not kidding. Uh, spice pepper right off the bat. And while, you know, we've talked about this before, it, is it getting less of a pepper note as you go along or are you just getting used to it? I, I'm not there yet as far as being able to tell. All I know is when I lit this in the first third, it's pepper for me and wood. Those right. are the, the two notes. That What's I interesting is when we, when we normally light up, Guys, we light up literally as we start. We lit up today about 20 minutes before we started. And we're talking, catching up. It's been a lot of things going on. And we, we, we're, we're not even through half of the first third. And what we're talking about is take your cigar, look at it, and break it up into thirds. That's how you're going to determine what's going on with it. First third, second third, and final third. The flavors change, right? The heat is coming. The tobacco is working. And you want to write it down. What did you eat that day? What did you drink that day? What is the weather? Should we play? Should we play Fingers Malloy? Uh, Do you want to play America's Favorite Game? What did Fingers eat? As you know, Fingers Malloy can eat anything. And when you find out what he eats, you will ask yourself only one question. How are you still alive? Fingers Malloy. So quick, quickly, tell us, what did you eat today? Well, I've been on the Atkins diet up until uh, today. Oh, is that for, right? At least 10 days. Wait, I'm, you were on the Atkins diet for two weeks? Yes. I'm, How many pounds did you lose? 12 pounds. How could you stop? Because I didn't put a carb in my face for 12 days. And then all of a sudden there are carbs around me and I have to have all the carbs. Uh, so today I was uh, in a crutch for time, so I had to stop at McDonald's. And oh, I got, is, that, is that why yeah, you had to stop? Yeah, and I got a oh, uh, ch- chicken sandwich meal uh, with fries uh, and a Diet Coke because you don't want the empty calories. But then nice. you need uh, two apple pies so uh, to chase it. And then I, I got home quickly, a uh, fistful of Doritos. Here I am. I, I Down 12 pounds. I don't need <laughs> I don't know how he does it. Uh, the Camacho Liberty Series 2021 is what we're smoking. <laughs> that's a pivot. I, I had to. I had to, otherwise I was going to cry. <laughs> One of the things that's interesting about this in, in this first third, the amount of smoke coming off this cigar and the amount of smoke in the draw. Yeah. Draw is absolutely perfect. We did a very a straight cut, 
not to a shallow straight cut, which is what I would describe it. So the, the end that you cut is called the cap, right? The end that you light is the foot. So I don't like to do a straight cut well across, right? I don't like to go below where the cap is, where that rounded part is, and cut. I like to get, I want to get as much surface area for losing as little cigar as possible. That's me. Everybody's different. Uh, and, and I've done that here. The draw is absolutely perfect. Absolutely positively perfect. And the smoke in the palate, the smoke that I'm trying to do a bit of retrohale, bring it out through the sinuses, the smoke coming off the cigar, excellent. Well, don't you think that that's a really good rule of thumb moving forward to try to take a little bit uh, of, the, uh, of the cap off? And you can always cut more, but you right. don't want to overcut. Absolutely, positively. And I have, and if you want to know if this is acceptable, the answer is yes. I have in cigar lounges send cigars back because the the person who has cut the cigar for me took off too much, mm. right? Uh, sometime, sometimes it's a training issue, and they'll just go a little too deep. To fix that, just tell them, hey, just a shallow cut because you can always cut more of it. I also recommend uh, for anyone who does this more than once, bring your cutter with you, bring your lighter with you. Because it's, it's in, in the good places, right? In the good cigar lounges, people are moving around. You can ask somebody, and they'll, they'll of course, touch up your cigar, things like that. But when you have your own, it just, it just gives you that, that, that ease and that flexibility. You're doing things on your own pace, and you don't feel like you're putting anybody out. You don't feel like you're put out. Uh, it's just a more comfortable way to be. Well, I have talked to quite a few people recently who have said to me, you know, listening to the show, okay, you've teased us for a while. When are you guys going to start giving us cutter reviews? When are you going to start giving us lighter reviews? Uh, yeah. Can I, do you, you want to know what Fingers Malloy Lighters is? Fingers Malloy's lighter is? <laughs> Fingers Malloy's lighter. Let me, let me explain that I have, I will, put up a, I will put up a picture on the Instagram page, Eat, Drink, Smoke podcast. On Instagram, I have an ST DuPont Fender Starburst Starburst lighter. You know that traditional Fender guitar Starburst look? I have that lighter. Now, I got that lighter on sale, on sale, on sale, on sale. That lighter is $375. I did not spend $375. on. There are lighters you can spend $1,000 on, and people look at them as, as heirlooms, and they pass them down. Fingers Malloy uses a torch that looks like a firearm that he got at Walgreens for $6.99. He can run his car over it. It's bulletproof, and it's perfect. And what's great about it, too, is I can also light my grill with it. I mean, it, Do you? Yes. I mean, <clears throat> they get up to, what, 2,500 degrees? It is, I could so quickly light my grill with it and then turn around and light my stick, and it has been the most reliable lighter I've had. It's, it's fantastic. Can I, are we going to just walk past the fact that you just did that old man throat clear thing? Dude, I have been sick for like two Not weeks. COVID. He's no. been tested. Yes. He's been checked. But just just a cold, right? Yeah, cold, flu, summer thing. And you're smoking a cigar and drinking bourbon. I, it's my job, Tony. I'm committed to the job. For the nation. <laughs> for Eat, Drink, Smoke Nation. This is the Camacho Liberty Series 2021. It's $20 a stick, Fingers Malloy. And I'm here to tell you, $20 a stick. Worth a try. For a special occasion, this is Eat, Drink, Smoke. Follow the Eat, Drink, Smoke show on your favorite podcast platform, including Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio. Vegas is back, my beautiful babies. It's Eat, Drink, Smoke. I'm Tony Katz. That right there is America's favorite amateur drinker, Fingers Malloy. Find everything at EatDrinkSmokeShow.com. You'll find the podcast, you'll find the reviews, you'll find the articles. We've got more reviews coming a lot of cool video coming your way at eat drink smoke show.com now fingers and i are going to be in vegas for uh, a a convention not open uh, to to the public it's it's part of the an industry convention but we plan on doing a lot of interviews and bringing it to you uh it, it's kind of cigar porn-esque i guess is the way <laughs> to put it uh, you've got a whole nother business trip that you're taking uh, to vegas you're going to be there like twice in in in, in the month of july and the win has revamped the buffet. They will be open. They have, we discussed how this was going to be a problem in the world of COVID. And they said the people must have crab legs <laughs> when they want crab legs. And the buffet will be open at the win. Will you be going? No. What? 
did you did you see the price of the buffet at the wind? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's talk about what they have though. Sixteen food stations, uh -huh. including one dedicated to eggs benedict. You've got lobster, smoked salmon, corn cake, and, and spinach. A pancake station where you get red velvet chocolate chip and buttermilk and vanilla bean. How about the southern Italian station? Lasagna alla bolognese, crispy chicken parmesan. Theater Jour Mexican one with favorites like chorizo and eggs, carne asada, and Mexican street corn. Or is that the same thing as a lote? Because a lote is a dream come true. It really, truly is. That, that's corn, butter, spices, mouth, delicious. They'll have pork and beef ribs, and I'm a sucker for a beef rib, by the way. It's, it's worth whatever it is they charge. What, what could be the problem? The Fremont Hotel and Casino, Tony, has <laughs> a foot-long chili dog with a Coke, $3. By the way, the Fremont Hotel would be a fine sponsor of the Etrix Smoke right. Radio Show. And so would the win. Let, right. let, let, uh, let the auction begin. $65 for the win buffet. 65 bucks. What's your point? $65. What are you going to pay for a steak? Well, wait. With the way you gamble, nothing. But me, I'm going to pay $65 for a steak. $3 for a chili dog and, and, and Coke. I'm not going to Vegas for Costco. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm just saying. Are you? Okay. You don't strike me as a buffet cat. You Did I mention the Mexican street corn? <laughs> I'm sure you can get that at another restaurant oh, at the Wynn. I don't, I don't mind You're a Wynn guy. I, 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 am, I am a Wynn guy, sure. I, I, I'm, I don't mind a buffet. I, I, I don't. When, when in Vegas, right? When in Rome. But you could get, listen, you could spend $150, $200 on a steak in Vegas. Uh, for $65, you can get a pretty good steak in Las Vegas. Is it going to be the, the, the top steak house in Sin City? No. But... For 65 bucks, you could get something that's made for fresh to order just for you, and they'll bring it out to you, and they'll smile, and they'll put the plate in front of you, and you'll get to cut it, and there'll be a loaf of bread, and you don't have to get up every three minutes and uh, do a hip check into someone as they're going to the salad bar before you. Yeah, but those people are old. I could totally take them out. <laughs> Breakfast is from 8 to 10. Brunch is from 10 to 3. Dinner is from 3 to 9. And by the way, it ranges from $38.99 to $64.99 depending on if you're having breakfast, brunch, or dinner. See, have you ever, I've never spent $39 on breakfast for myself. Um, I can't say that's true about me. I, I'm, I know I must have done it. I must have done it. And, 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 and by the way, the idea of spending $38 on eggs is such... <laughs> When I can stay at the Hampton Inn and it comes with the eggs, right? it is such an affront to the soul. But these are Eggs Benedict. It's a whole station. This guy's life is Eggs Benedict and what you can add to it. That's a dream. That's a dream. Do you think during... And it's hollandaise, not holiday. It's hollandaise sauce. Thank you, Gary Goldman. Do, do you think during the interview process that whoever is cooking the eggs had to say, I have a passion for Eggs Benedict, and I need to run the Eggs Benedict station? If they didn't, I don't want them making my Eggs Benedict. <laughs> I, I absolutely positively don't want it. Look, I'm, I, I, I'm saying uh, that I wouldn't do this, but I'm very happy they're coming back because a lot of these hotel casinos are owned by major corporations, and they don't like losing money. And the buffet... Wh what? Right? The buffet business is a, a loser when it comes to money making. It's just one of the things that hotel casinos feel like they need to have to, to draw people in to gamble. Uh, so there was talk that a lot of these hotel casinos were not going to bring the buffets back as Vegas started to reopen. So I think this is an encouraging sign that the win is saying, okay, we're going to do it, and hopefully other hotel casinos will follow suit. Is it a sign that they're filling up, and as long as they're filled up, it's, it, it's financially viable? If the hotel was at a 52% occupancy, would they be doing the buffet? That's a good question. All I know is, is that they were saying that when I'm anticipating that they, they were thinking, okay, business is going to come back, and they were talking about not bringing these back. Now, if you look at any of the Vegas YouTubers on you know, the weekends, they'll do live streams from the Strip, and it, it's back. I mean, people are returning to Las Vegas in a big way. And ticket prices are out of control. Airline ticket prices 
are nuts. Uh, Sarah runs social media for us, and she uh, she knows we're going to to, to, the, to the show. And hey, if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, some great deals. Well, maybe where she lives, because she doesn't live near where we are, from Indianapolis to to Vegas, eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I've never paid more than three hundred dollars on a round trip ticket to go to Las Vegas, and I paid more than three hundred dollars this go around, and I booked the flight two two and a half months in advance. The idea that uh, you know we are you know we're three weeks out. I always felt like I could still get a last-minute deal at a decent... I, I've never seen $850 unless I was planning on flying the next day to Vegas. It's so amazing. You know, I, I just spent a, a week in Sedona, uh, went, on, went on vacation. It was spectacular, by the way. If you've never been to Sedona, Arizona, you need to go even in summer. You, it's, it's just a, it's a spectacular experience. Nobody wearing masks. Everybody out feeling great. And where I was staying was, was full. And other hotels full and you know i it still wasn't to the point where you know you waited long to to do things i i, don't, I didn't feel that but people are desperate to get out they are thrilled to get out they feel they're vaccinated they feel this is behind them and they're moving on some people very happy to stay home and grill and that's why you need omaha steaks omahasteaks.com and put in my name tony t-o-n-y here's what's going to happen put it right there in the keyword search and eat drink smoke pop up boom you click it you get the deal the Dad's Best Grill Pack. It's actually uh, still an offer they're giving for fathers that you could still get this. It's four bacon-wrapped fillets, four boneless chicken breasts, four boneless pork chops, eight gourmet jumbo franks, which Fingers made just the other day and loved. Right? You get the caramel apple tartlets. You'll get the, si- the signature seasoning and eight free filet mignon burgers. $99.99. $99.99, it's 28 of Omaha Steaks' favorite entrees. And it's so easy to use, right? So it, it comes frozen, right? And you put it in the freezer, you pull out a box. That, that evening, you're grilling. It's just that easy. Go to omahasteaks.com and use keyword Tony, and you will get the eight free filet mignon burgers. Omahasteaks.com. Omahasteaks.com and use Tony keyword tony you're gonna get the deal for father's day even if it's late it's still gonna be fantastic this is eat drink smoke eat drink smoke it is your cigar bourbon foodie radio extravaganza i'm tony katz that is fingers malloy this is the camacho liberty series 2021 it is available in your local tobacconist Right now, you can go get it. The 7x48, 7 inches long, 48 ring gauge. The Ecuadorian wrapper, Nicaraguan on the binder. And Dominican and Honduran in the filler. You'll find it for about $20 a stick. It comes in the coffin, which is this wooden box. I, I don't know if that translates on radio or podcast, but I did it anyway. Not even through the first third. Pepper and wood, you were talking about earlier, Fingers, and yeah. that's exactly where you're at. Yeah. This is nice. It is nice. And at $20 a stick, I got to say for me, it's it's probably in my humidor. It's, it's a nice change of pace. It, it Like you said, when you first light it, it does punch you in the face, but I've adjusted to it nicely. I don't know how you feel about it. No, no. I, I there was, You know what's funny? There, there was no adjustment. I think the pepper is the same as when I started. Now, we did, because Fingers is not feeling 100%, we did pair this with coffee right away. And I think coffee is a wonderful compliment going on here. There are some notes, a touch of nutty, that that I think hits well. I also think the wood goes along with coffee pretty well. I actually have picked a bourbon that's going to, I think, compliment very well and help you when you're when you're feeling uh, ill. We'll keep with the whole all American theme. But the Camacho Liberty 2021, uh, it, it only comes out once a year. It comes out around Independence Day, and you should find it. For, I know $20 might be a little bit more than you normally like to do. Yeah, especially as a 7 by 48 you feel there's a solid value there in the size. Okay, now let me ask you this, because we have run into sticks from time to time that have some sort of unusual packaging it comes in. Do you ever save stuff like this? Uh, yes. Yes, I, 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 I do. I actually have a, a, a empty coffin uh, at, at home, and I will tell you, not to get too uh, sentimental, uh, my youngest used to collect sticks because when you're four, you do what you do. Sure. And in the coffin that I have, there is one of the sticks that my youngest collected 
and it's there in my, uh, it's, it's next to my humidor. Mm. And, and, it, and, it, and it's in there. My oldest, when they were four, used to collect acorns. Don't ask why, I don't know why, but pockets filled with acorns. Adorable. I don't have any of the acorns, but I do have one of the sticks. That's weird. Uh, my kids, uh, the youngest, uh, it was pine cones. Like to collect pine cones. Right? Uh, they won't fit in the coffin. So. And the oldest? Corvettes. Yes. Good for, <laughs> good for them. It's time for the news of the week. Okay. Well, we have documented uh, on several occasions how the supply chain for different businesses, it's backed up and, and uh, whether it's a, a lack of... It's of, a blanking mess. Yes. It's insane. Well, now things are getting really serious, Tony. Why is that? There is a shortage of chicken wings. Yeah, just stop the show. It's over. There's no reason left to live, everybody. That we're done. We're finished. America is doomed. But after you finish the cigar, the Camacho Liberty Series 21, America's over. This is your last chance at any type of, of humanity. Chicken wings? Chicken wings. A soaring demand for chicken wings has resulted in a wing shortage shortage across the country. Why this is, is regional. Why is there a, all of a sudden a demand, a surge, if you will, for wings of the chicken? Well, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that, you know, we've been pretty fortunate here in Indiana where we've been open up for quite a while, right? right. But there are certain parts of the country that have not been open for business and people have not been able to go to the sports bars and, uh, you know, order chicken wings. And now as the com uh, country continues to open and more restaurants are offering, uh, you know, their uh, indoor dining to consumers, they're ordering chicken wings. And then you've got on top of it, you, you're seeing, uh, you know, whether it's meat processing or other industries not being able to hire enough employees to meet the demand there is an employee shortage to bring the product to market, and then you've got a surge in demand, which is making uh, these chicken wings, uh, you know, a hot property. And there are shortages. There are there are restaurants that are known for wings that are saying we we don't have them right now. Now I don't know about the the big. When you talk about the big boys, that right, right from Buffalo. Yeah. Yes. I mean those places are wild. Right. Wild, I tell you, with their wings. Uh, when you. When your business was that subtle, solid. I was going for subtle. I don't know if I hit subtle. If your soul, your, your identity is based on chicken wings, I'm assuming that you're such a big buyer that they're getting their hands on chicken wings. They just maybe more expensive. But if you're just right. a, a local bar and grill, you. Well, may I mean, hurt. that leads to the question of whether or not they're going to raise prices. Chipotle just said they're going to raise prices by four percent, and the stock price went nuts. Invest. They, they, they. I mean, not so much the stock price went nuts. I should say the the entire investor circle turned them into a buy. Oh, they, this is it. This is what they needed. Four percent. And and people are like yes, but if you start seeing four percent across the board, all of a sudden you realize that starts turning into real money for we the consumer. And if the wing places, because supply and demand is very very real, start saying, well, we now got to charge an extra. Nickel a wing or whatever. However, they do their mathematics. Instead of uh, eight forty nine, it's 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 nine forty nine, or it's or it's or it's you know eight ninety nine. Um, those things do add up. One time isn't going to be a thing. Often is going to be a thing. Well, one of the things that started happening as far as the national conversation goes is we've been talking a lot about inflation, and you're noticing it at the grocery store. Uh, prices have gone up. Milk, uh, yes. Now, we were going to actually, I think we were going to get into this a, a little bit later, but we might as well hit it now. You talk about inflation. General Motors announced that between the chip shortage, by the way, you still can't find a new car because of the, 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 the semiconductors, the computer chips, and inflation, they think it's going to cost them in the second half of 2021 $3 billion. Sooner or later, it turns into real money. Yeah, all of these things, and and as uh, so, I was talking to an economist because that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> and to to explain inflation, this this is how they explained it: you have too much cash and not enough stuff to buy. Right. That's the problem. So therefore, prices go up because you don't have enough, but you've got this cash and you've got this, this total influx of dollars. This is where we're at, and even in, in construction. A builder explained to me that a, a, a plywood sheet 
used to run $11, and now it's $45. Four times. That's a... We were talking about, you know, a price of a, of a single-family home went up $30,000 before you put in any kind of tile. It is. There's no granite in that countertop. It is crazy. I've just been looking around in my area to see how home prices have skyrocketed in the past six months. By the way, I'm, I'm receiving cold calls for my home from realtors. Are you really? Yeah. I have not signed up for anything. Uh, didn't ask to talk to a realtor. I've gotten two cold calls in the last three weeks. Hey, uh, we want to buy a house in your neighborhood. Uh, you're interested in selling. You don't have to uh, have any inspection. There's no closing costs. We just want to give you a big check. You interested? Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you interested? No. Because I have to buy a house. Right. <laughs> Once I get rid of my house, I have to find something else. And you're seeing, at least in the real estate market in our area, homes, they're barely going up for sale without being, uh, they're, they're sold in, in just a day. And a lot of times, people are paying twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 more than the owner was asking for because it's such a hot housing market right now. So prices are going up in the home market. So too. I have not gotten that call. I will tell you that I had someone today, and I've been through this, but I've decided I need to build a studio. Okay. And I need to build a studio I can smoke cigars in because we have so much new content that's coming. And so I had someone today come and quote me adding to the house. Mm -hmm. We're going to add on to that. I've thought about moving. No, no, no. It's ridiculous. Great place. We're going to add on to it. And when they got there, the first thing they said to me after hello was, don't do it. Really? I'm like, why not? A, you're going to wait six months. And B, the, the cost of materials is just criminally insane. Makes sense. So I'm going to quote it out for you. Don't do it right now. So I'm like, well... Well, what do I do? What in the world do I do? This is crazy. And and now I can't get chicken wings? <laughs> Cigars and bourbon are still plentiful. So, all right. There, there is something worth sticking around for. This is Eat, Drink, Smoke, Wing. Remember, you can find our reviews on cigars, bourbon, and food over at our website, eatdrinksmokeshow.com. So the wings aren't the only thing in shortage. How about coffee cups? And how about syrups for Starbucks and all those other coffee people who can't make you the Frappuccino as you demand it? Eat, drink, smoke. Great to be with you, Tony Katz and Fingers Malloy. This, this supply chain issue is going to affect absolutely everything in our lives and creates a lot of this, this financial uh, stress. I would have bet, however, cash money... And you want to talk about one of the things I got wrong, Fingers Malloy. We looked at what happened in COVID, and we made a bet. I mean, a statement. I mean, it wasn't a, like, a, like an official bet. The idea that it was going to change people's patterns and habits. They learned they could cook at home. They were making coffee at home. They saw all the money that they were saving. Credit card debt across the country is down 13.5%. People paid off debt. The average debt, by the way, is still $9,000. $9,000 worth of debt is the average. And I have said that number to people, and some people have been like, oh, 9000 As in, <laughs> only 9000 I sometimes wonder how people live, and uh, you, you take a look. at it. They, they've, they've got the unbelievably fancy cars, and they they got the pool. And uh, What do they do for a living, and, and how do they afford this? And the answer is... They don't necessarily, <laughs> right? Uh, your, your neighbor uh, looks at some weird numbers at the end of each and every month. That much is true. But 13.5% got paid off, paid off. And I said, this will change patterns and how people do things. And you know what I'm learning? Nope. People, people ad adapted and just as quickly they said, get me out of this. I want the old life. I need my Starbucks every single day. You're not kidding. What was it? I believe three weeks ago, the CEO of Delta Airlines said that business travel is going to come back in a big way in the second half of 2021, which was a complete surprise to me because we've talked on several occasions that since we've proven in the past year, how many people have said, okay, I can work from home. We can conduct business over Zoom calls thought that maybe business travel was a thing of the past and it's the exact opposite like you said people have been for over a year 
at home and and in you know their little office they said nope we got to get out we need to press the flesh again we need to meet face to face and we're seeing a big explosion in that it looks like the same thing with coffee and you know it's it to me uh it, it's got to really hurt when starbucks prices are going up because you know while they would be a fantastic sponsor of the Eat, Drink, Smoke radio program, don't get me wrong. It's oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, let, let, let me say for the record, I, I don't want to, you know, bag on, on Starbucks. Right? I try not to bag on anybody, but I think we can do better. <laughs> I, I just want to say that for the record. Look, I have the Starbucks app when uh, when when I'm, I'm traveling and and I'm at a conference. It's there and and I utilize it. I have been working on coming out with my own coffee for about six months now mm -hmm. and i am closer than ever and i've had some delays just like i did in indiana right i created my own rye whiskey right to help uh hospitality workers it's called recovery rye it's only available in indiana recoveryrye.com fantastic i'm thrilled by it. it's been such an outrageous success and it, liquor stores and and restaurants all across the state really something else i have been i've been working uh, on this uh, and I, I, even if it wasn't what, what I'm about to do and what's about to happen with Eat, Drink, Smoke, uh, we could do better than Starbucks. We do better. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Well, I, I didn't mean to sound like I was completely bagging on them. I'm just saying. No, that's... you weren't. You were, you were lauding them and you were giving them the, <laughs> the business underneath. And I'm the one who came in and just blocked the right. whole thing. I was just saying it's a pricey cup of joe. And it is a pricey cup of joe. And now, if if you look and see what's happening with all of these these shortages in cups and in syrups, uh, syrup in a in a coffee. S well, yeah, that's how they do the flavors. You know what else they're having a shortage of? Oat milk. I'm. Oat I'm milk? totally fine with it. Oat milk. Dude. It's a, it's an oat, and they squeeze it ever so gently. <laughs> yeah. And talk a little dirty to it. <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, and that and that's how you get the oat milk. Okay, is this the thing? I, I'm just starting to realize that almond milk is a thing, and I know that was you know that's been around for for ages, and there was that was a big fad for a while. Uh, so I was just getting used to almond milk, uh, and now oat milk is is a thing. You go to to Aldi and you get yourself a, a half gallon of uh, oat milk, and yes, you, 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 you pour it over your cornflakes. Now I will tell you this: I've been to some coffee places, mm -hmm. not Starbucks, where the 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 Coffee makers, I don't know if they're called baristas in other places, they'll swear by it. They say it absolutely makes a fantastic cup of coffee. Oat milk, almond milk, they swear by it. We're doing a French press right now. Yeah. You know what? Half and half. That's where it's at. It, so some people do heavy cream mm -hmm. in, in their coffee, especially the people who do keto. Yes. I find it to be too much. It's just, it's just too overwhelming, but absolutely cream. But if, you are, if you're not doing a French press, every now and then, you know what a French press is. So a French press, think of it as tea, right? And how you let tea steep, and then you can kind of like, you, you plunge down the leaves, and, uh, and, and then you pour it out. Well, the same thing with coffee. That's a French press. You have the coffee grounds, and then you add the hot water, you add the top, and it's got this kind of plunger mechanism. And you let it steep for a while, and then you push down the plunger slowly, because otherwise you'll get a lot of escaping of the grounds, and that'll end up in your coffee. You don't want that. You push it down slowly, it is such a richer cup of coffee because when you do drip, that paper filter is catching the oils. Yeah. And so a drip coffee, you can do more of. It's much easier on your stomach without those oils. But the flavor, and especially when you're doing a, a cigar, if you want to do the pairing, French press or espresso. And do the, do the espresso without maybe the slightest touch of sweetener, but really do it for what the espresso has to offer. And you really do get more out of the cigar. It's quite, it's quite incredible. Well, and I'll tell you something else, too. I've got a French press at home that I love to make cold brew with. Right. Let it sit for 12 hours and then do everything that you said, and, and that is fantastic. But, you know, it, it can tear up your stomach a little bit. And the best thing to do when you have, if you have drip coffee, right, it's in the pot and you've got a little extra coffee, you know, that part you didn't, nobody drank it, it was sitting around, and you're going to spill it out, put it into an ice cube tray. Make coffee ice cubes for your iced coffee. Because what, what, if you're going to dilute it, dilute it with a little more coffee. Right. It's, it's, it is, uh, to me, a life hack, if you will. It's an absolutely perfect hack. Well, now, he, do you have any of the the syrup at home? No. Because I know some people really, some people, you know, we love our bourbon, 
some people get really passionate about their coffee and have to do the whole Starbucks experience at home. Yeah, I'm, uh, what I'm interested in is a home espresso maker because I drink enough coffee. And I, I never, I didn't drink coffee until I had kids. K kids did this to me. They totally, totally ruined me. I would like to get a home espresso system. I'm willing to make the investment because I have changed how I do my buying and I do very little coffee buying outside of the house. I saw at Home Depot a espress espresso maker slash pellet grill Stop that, may, that may interest you. Two birds, one stone. Oh, me and my grill. I don't have a grill. Leave me. You know what? We will get into it. We will get into it because I think I have figured out a plan. Mm. And the plan involves me complaining about not having a grill and not knowing what to buy <laughs> for at least another four to six years. I think... I just can't do it. I can't figure it out. And and I and what I do is I, I crawl into bed and and I and I put my head on the my pillow and I'm like, what grill should I get? And then you know, by that time I'm already asleep because my my pillow is absolutely perfect. It never goes flat. It's an incredible night's sleep, no sore necks, no headaches. I don't feel like I need a, a nap because even though you know I slept throughout the night, some people, you know, they feel they wake up like, man, am I exhausted? No. You can get a my pillow when you use promo code Tony twenty nine ninety eight for the queen size my pillow king pillows just five dollars more the ten year warranty the sixty day money back guarantee go to mypillow.com and there's a radio listener square click that put in promo code Tony T O N Y and you're gonna get the deal the premium my pillow queen for only twenty nine ninety eight and then you can take advantage of the deep discounts on the my pillow products like the Giza Dream bed sheets which are incredible I use them they're fantastic. The new my slippers. So go to mypillow.com, get your premium my pillow for only $29.98 with promo code Tony. That is mypillow.com and use promo code Tony. Smoking the Liberty Series from Camacho, the Camacho Liberty Series 2021 into the second third. The review continues, and this is Eat Drink Smoke. I'm keeping it all American. All right, well, bourbon is the all-American drink. We already know this, right? Bourbon is mandated by law. We're talking about 1964, the House and the Senate, not only describing how bourbon has to be made, but, but of course, where it can be made, meaning anywhere in the United States, you can make bourbon as long as you follow the rules of bourbon. No, it doesn't have to come from Kentucky. But why isn't Jack Daniels bourbon? Well, that's because they don't follow the rules. I'm fine with it. Because what they make is still worthwhile, whether it's old number seven or it's a gentleman. This is Eat, Drink, Smoke, where we eat the fine food, drink the fine bourbon, and smoke the fine cigars. I'm Tony Katz. That right there, that's America's favorite amateur drinker, Fingers Malloy. So are you saying that Jack plays by his own rules? By his own rules. This is Gentleman Jack. Now, Gentleman Jack is Jack Daniels. We should be perfectly clear that there, there's not a difference, right? It's not that they went about creating a whole new thing. What they do is they filter it twice. So the reason Jack Daniels is not bourbon is not because it comes from Tennessee. Tennessee can make bourbon. It's that it is filtered through charcoal. And because of that, that filtering says, sorry, not a bourbon, and that's why they call it a sour mash, and that's why it is still a whiskey, just not a bourbon. With Gentleman Jack, they run it through the system twice. So what you get is a little bit smoother, a little more refined, but what you still get is that Jack Daniels feel. This is 80 proof, 40% alcohol by volume, which means what? It's going to work for everybody at the table which is always very important, an easy, simple whiskey to have in your liquor cabinet, but nothing is more all-American than Jack Daniels. And that nose, it's that banana, baby. Jack Daniels has this banana nose that is, uh, to an extent, indescribable, but perfectly Jack Daniels. When you have that nose, you're like, okay, I know exactly what it is, and I really haven't run into things that equal it. The nose here is very smooth, fingers. Yes, it is. You get the banana and a little bit of vanilla, too. Absolutely. Uh, but it's, listen, I am a big Jack Daniels fan. 
Uh, I'm very happy that we're doing this today. I think we've done this one other time way back. We've the, done Gentleman Jack before? I, I believe we did in the first year of Eat, Drink, Smoke. We've done the Single Barrel Select. We've done the Barrel Proof, the 137.5 proof, which is incredible. Anything over 100 proof gets applause from Fingers Malloy. What I, I, Jack Daniels is one of those that... People who are, I think, new to bourbon, they say, oh, Jack Daniels, I would never. What are you, nuts? Of course you should. Of course you should. There's a reason it has stood the test of time. It's because it works, and it works on every level. Gentleman Jack is just a touch re more refined. Uh, by the way, that maple charcoal filtration process is referred to as the Lincoln County process. In case you ever see that anywhere written, uh, discussed, the Lincoln County process is actually a really good write-up over at thewhiskeyjug.com if you want to read about it and, and see what they think about it. It's just got a, that, that touch more smoothness that I appreciate and enjoy. I've had Gentleman Jack. I didn't know we ever did it on the show. We've done so many shows. And you get the <laughs> podcast, by the way. Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, Stitcher, Google Play. Go to eatdrinksmokeshow.com and subscribe, 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 subscribe to the podcast. It's free. I don't know if they call it a follow or a like. I don't know what they do anymore. It's follow. It's now. free, whatever they call it. It's fantastic. We ready to do this, Fingers Malloy? I've been ready to do this all day, Tony. We do it neat. Uh, you take a look at this, and it's got a little bit of a paler kind of of, of amber uh, to it. Still looks uh, absolutely lovely. It doesn't really have much of a viscosity. It's not uh, clinging to the Glencairn glass uh, much. But again, that nose is great. I will let you. You've got the, the, a touch of the cold. This is going to clear you right up. Here we go. Fingers Malloy. He's going to take the sip. We start neat, right? No ice, no water, no nothing. And then, oh, my gosh, you just had an experience. Do you need to, do you need to lay down? Do you need to be alone? Oh my mm. gosh, look at that face. Like, you've just found yourself. Caramel vanilla. You get, if you happen to get a little bit of an inhale, you get that that banana that we were talking about. Uh, very smooth. No sting on the tongue. No burn going down. It just feels right. Everything about this is good and just and and perfect neat, perfect neat. Yep. The, there's there's a, a slight tingle to the tongue, no burn in the throat. Uh, a lower chest is where you'll feel a touch of the burn. Absolutely, you'll get the caramel. You'll you'll get the vanilla. Um, you don't get banana on on the flavor as much on this as as you do in in, in the nose. Man, is that easy. That is easy, even neat. And as I said, it's going to work for the entire table, right? So so if, if you pull out Gentleman Jack, people are like, oh, yeah, sure, I'll have one. That's that's the beauty of it. You don't have to tell much of a story here. Like, very often bourbons have stories, and I think that that's great, and there's a lot to learn from it. This is something you pull out, everyone goes, yeah, absolutely. And you're not going to have a problem. Nobody has to... Nobody has to question what it is they're drinking. They know Jack. They know what it is they're about to get. And when you find people who are like, Jack Daniels? Yeah, that's when you know you need to find new friends. <laughs> I mean, that's just absolutely uh, true. This is nice and easy right here. And like you said, I think it's perfect neat. I mean, I know because uh, we are committed to the, the task and our job that we will uh, either put an ice chip or a little bit of cool water in it. But to me, this screams, drink it neat. Don't do anything to it. It is great just the way it is. Now, remember, when you, when you add water, when you add ice, put it on a big cube or put it on, add an ice chip or just, just the, the rocks, A, you're bringing down that proof, right? Dilution. The only way you're allowed, you, you can do it, the only thing you can do to bourbon or, or is, is add water to bring down the proof. You can't add anything else to it. Otherwise, again... Not bourbon in this case. We're talking about a, a whiskey. We're talking about a sour mash here. Um, uh, Tennessee whiskey, as I believe, is how they would uh, describe Gentleman Jack. Uh, but it also changes the complexion of the drink. It brings out certain things. It mutes other things. So as you try it, try it with a touch of water. Try it on a cube. Try it on the rocks. You'll get different flavors out of it. What I'm telling you here is that at neat, it just fits the bill as an after-dinner sip. Mm -hmm. All right, this is going to work very well. It pairs beautifully with the Camacho Liberty Series 2021. I would find this pairs well with a lot. You can pa pair this with things that have serious spice going on with them, things that are heavy in the leathers and the earths. You can pair with the Gentleman Jack. It's just going to work for you. 
Is it a multi-note, really uh, multi-dimensional kind of kind of whiskey? No. Does it have the right notes, the classic bourbon notes, if you will? The answer is yes, it does. Maybe a little more sweetness and a little less on that oak for me, possibly because of, of that double filtration. And the other thing, too, is to me, this is a perfect Father's Day bottle. If you want to get your dad something, to me, Gentleman Jack is the kind of juice that you can buy that is, is it's something that will make a seasoned bourbon drinker take a look and go, okay, you know what? It, it's Jack Daniels, but I, I, I'll i like this. And it, it's something that an inexperienced drinker would like as well. And at $33.99, I, I think it's, it's, it's no problem. At $33.99 which is the way Drizzly has the price. By the way, Drizzly would be a fantastic sponsor of the Eat, Drink, Smoke radio show. Uh, I, I don't think you can go wrong. I think you'll find yourself being pleased. And, and, and I think it works on all occasions. Gentleman Jack from Jack Daniels. You got to, yeah, you should be drinking it. It's easy. This is Eat, Drink, Smoke. Follow Eat, Drink, Smoke on social media, on Twitter, at Go Eat, Drink, Smoke, on Facebook, facebook.com slash Eat, Drink, Smoke, and Instagram, at Eat, Drink, Smoke Podcast. The power of celebrity cannot be denied, and the power of sports celebrity cannot be denied. In this case, the power is worth $4 billion. It's Eat, Drink, Smoke. I'm Tony Katz. That right there, America's favorite amateur drinker, Fingers Malloy. There is a soccer player known as Ronaldo. Famous, world famous, huge star, incredible soccer player, huge star. And he is doing a, uh, a Q&A with, with the press, right? You sit and you talk at some tournament coming up, whatever the case may be. Well, one of the sponsors is Coca-Cola. And right there on the table, as you often see, you'll, you'll see Simon Cowell with his, either his Coke or his Dunkin' Donuts cup from whatever the shows he does. The voice people, they do the same. And the product placement, there are two bottles of Coca-Cola. Boom, right there. You can't miss it. You know that label. It's one of the great marketing groups in the history of all mankind is Coca-Cola. And Ronaldo sits down, fingers Malloy. Ronaldo sits down. He takes a look at those two bottles of Coke, and he picks them up. And moves them out of frame, moves them away, like almost under the table. And he grabs his water bottle and he says, drink water. Ooh. And at that moment, you could see in the charts of the stock of Coca-Cola, it dropped like a stone. And that move cost Coca-Cola $4 billion in market cap. $4 billion. Because Ronaldo, he moved the Coke out of the way that's incredible you think reddit is powerful <laughs> <laughs> that's some power right there i'll tell you what apparently he wouldn't last a week in nascar right <laughs> he, he would have to be he would have to grab that coke if he were in nascar and act like crusty the clown oh it's fantastic i love my coca-cola it's wonderful <laughs> It's an absolutely amazing, because you watch him do it, and you're like, wow. Wow, man, he's bagging on, the, on, on a sponsor. That's, that's rough. You, you see the line go straight down, and you can bring it to the minute. Boom! It's incredible Doesn't to watch Doesn't Coca-Cola have bottled water? Isn't Dasani a, a, a Coca-Cola? It is a Coca-Cola. Someone should have run up there and said, but Coke makes great water. <laughs> Here, Ronaldo, here's some water. <laughs> Oh my, four billion dollars. Yeah. That's amazing. Now they're not the only people seeing an issue. The Girl Scouts. So Girl Scouts sell the cookies, right? Everybody loves the Thin Mint. They stay in the freezer for about half a second and then they get eaten. Well, because the Girl Scouts couldn't go out and sell, they had some extra cookies. 15 million unsold boxes of Girl Scout cookies. 12 million of the 15 million never left the bakery warehouses, which are in Kentucky and Indiana. So we could go right now. Do, do they have 15 million Samoas? Because I will buy them right now. Right Turn, now. So the story goes, insidehook.com with the story. They can't sell them. They've thought about, okay, you know, we'll put them in, in the supermarkets. We'll be like, we'll sell them. And like, no, we think it dilutes the brand. Oh. Are they going to let these cookies go to waste? 15 million cookies? I mean, can they donate them all out? People people take a cookie. 
I, 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 this is, first of all, this is all COVID related. They couldn't go around knocking on doors. You're telling me that people wouldn't answer the door for a Girl Scout? You could do trick or treating at six feet away. You can't buy a Girl Scout cookie at six feet away. Uh, I've got daughters who uh, were Girl Scouts, and one of the things that is really important for Girl Scout cookie sales is being able to sit outside of a box retailer with your little stand selling Girl Scout cookies as customers go in and out. I don't know if that was impacted, if you know we're doing everything we could for, for social distancing, if retailers weren't allowing Girl Scouts to do that this year. Uh, you know, certain troops, you were allowed to set up online stores where people could buy the, the, the cookies and wouldn't have to deal with, uh, you know, any kind of interaction with Girl Scouts. To me, is that a good look that you're going to let 13 million cookies go to waste because it'll dilute the brand? Is that a good look for Girl Scouts? I don't... I, it, it, the argument, I would think, is... They, they do this to raise the money, right? Now, I think they do it, right? You, you're getting out there. You're, you're, you're dealing with people. You're learning, right? I think that's an important skill, and I, and I appreciate it greatly. But you do want to raise the money. They ha- the, in the end, they've got to donate them out. You, there, there's no worse look than letting 15 million boxes of cookies go bad when somebody's hungry in America, right? right. There is no worse look I can think of uh, than, than that move right there. I just have an an issue with the idea that somehow and in some way you couldn't have people selling. You couldn't have people doing it. I just have a hard time believing it. Or have someone, a a big money donor, look at this and say, okay, I want to help the Girl Scouts out. I'll buy all of them and distribute them in a way that will help the Girl Scouts but also... uh, alleviate the situation i just can't imagine look ideally you don't want to feed the hungry in this country girl scout cookies Uh, you you want to feed them to me but having said that uh it's you just can't i have that much food go to waste and for an an organization to say yeah uh we're actually okay with it going to waste rather than have it you know water down our brand i it's just not a good look now you can go to the Girl Scout website and there's like there's you can actually get an app. You can get an app that lets you what do you buy the cookie you can find cookies, Girl Scout Cookie Finder. Yeah. The Girl Scout Cookie Finder, <laughs> you can go find the cookies. Uh, if right now the Girl Scouts took those fifty million boxes and went in front of a supermarket, they'd sell. Because the masks are gone almost everywhere. Even California has opened up. I don't... This is just a weird story. I think they. I think you can fix this. Well, will other companies step in and buy them? You know, you can buy Girl Scout cookie ice cream. And I can't remember the manufacturer off the top of my head who makes uh, Edie's? Eddie's? Maybe. Eddie, I, Eddie, Edie, Edie, whichever Edie, it is. Yeah, I, they, they have the, the Thin Mint and Samoa ice cream. You know cream. this um, from a personal... Oh, yes. I've, I've, <laughs> I've had a gallon or 20 in my life, and it's fantastic. So maybe that'll happen, too. Maybe we'll see more Girl Scout cookie ice cream because of this. Now, I will tell you that Girl Scout cookies pair terrifically with an Omaha steak. I mean, you get the caramel apple tartlets when you put in keyword Tony, but you can also do it with Girl Scout cookies and Omaha steaks. There's no shortage. They're ready to fill your order and satisfy you. Right now, you can get the Dad's Best Grill Pack, which... It's 28 of Omaha Steaks' favorite entrees. We're talking about four bacon-wrapped fillets, four of the premium premium boneless chicken breasts, four boneless pork chops, eight of the gourmet jumbo franks. You'll get the caramel apple tartlets, the signature seasoning. You'll also get eight free filet mignon burgers. $99.99. That's it. $99.99 is going to show up at your door. You put it right in the freezer. Right, It's already frozen. You pull it out. Next thing you know, you're grilling super easy and fantastic. Go to omahasteaks.com and use keyword Tony. Put that in the search bar. T-O-N-Y. You'll see Eat, Drink, Smoke. You will get the deals and so many other deals on Omaha Steaks products. Fantastic. Easy. Delicious. Everybody loves to grill. Grill with Omaha Steaks. Omahasteaks.com keyword Tony. Go to omahasteaks.com and right there in the keyword search put T-O-N-Y Tony.
Eat, drink, smoke. It is your cigar, bourbon, foodie, radio extravaganza. I'm Tony Katz. That right there is Fingers Malloy, Gentleman Jack. 80 proof, super smooth. It's done, it has uh, twice that filtering, right? So it goes through that maple charcoal twice, a touch more refined than old number seven. Works for every occasion. I haven't even moved it to a cube. I'm still playing it neat. Well, that's what I was about to ask you because, uh, you know, we do our best to try to either put it on a cube or put a little bit of, of cool water in it uh, whenever we, we do some sort of review. And I have not done it yet. I don't want to. It just tastes so good neat. I don't want to mess with it. Yeah, I'm, I'm solid where, where I'm, I'm at. I may, in a little bit, add, add bring it to a rock just to see where it is, just to feel the differences because it happens. When you add a little water, when you add a cube, it will change the complexion, and sometimes that's a wonderful thing. And draw things out of of the uh, of of the bourbon or of the whiskey in this case, because Jack is not a bourbon because it doesn't follow the bourbon rules. Right. But man, is it delicious? And Easy it, and simple is where I should, what I should really say. And at that price point, you said uh, Drizzly was what thirty four. Drizzly is thirty three. Okay, thirty three. Right? So that's delivery of, of it. And uh, whiskey wash says you can get it for twenty eight dollars. I mean, if you could pick this up for less than thirty dollars a bottle, I mean, you should be. Uh, over the moon happy because it's it's just really good juice. I think perfect for, for any occasion. You're going to see some people. You're going to have some friends over. You want to pour something that you're not worried about and isn't isn't the good stuff in, in your liquor cabinet. You know, the stuff that you, you keep for the special occasions you don't even tell your spouse about. Uh, <laughs> Gentleman Jack will do it. And he'll do it very, very well. I'm pleased. I'm super pleased with it. It is time, Fingers Malloy, for News of the Week. Oh, Tony. What? Regulation. Ah, that's worse than coronavirus. <laughs> the Washington, D.C. You know, say, say no more. Say no more. We get it. D.C. Council passed a bill Tuesday evening banning the sale of flavored tobacco products such as flavored e-cigarettes, menthol cigarettes, and flavored cigars. I oppose every single part of this because it's a lump in. Now, I get why people who are in the premium cigar industry, and that's what we smoke, right? We smoke premium cigars. These things are hand-rolled. These are works of art. It involves trade all around the globe, Honduras, Ecuador. You've got the Dominican. You have Nicaragua. It, it, it's, it's fantastic. We're not talking about the cigars we're discussing here. But a flavored cigar is not a flavored cigarette, and it's not a menthol cigarette. Cigars are not cigarettes. And when these things get lumped together, like, oh, it's flavored, it, 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 therefore it's uh, reaching out to children, that's bad. No, 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 no. Now, if you say to me, there are some cigars out there that like to play with kind of funny names and funny uh, bands, like cigar bands that look a little more childlike, I'll agree with you that that's not where the industry should go. It should recognize the value of being a touch refined. It should recognize this and the importance in the marketing. But this, which they call the Flavored Tobacco Product Pro Prohibition Amendment Act of 2021. So this is about banning the sale of tobaccos to minors under 16 and includes e-smoking devices within a quarter mile of middle schools and high schools and eliminate the sale of flavored tobacco products. My problem here is if grandma likes a strawberry vape, I'm not interested in telling grandma no and I don't know why anybody else is. This isn't about science, and this isn't about keeping kids safe. I don't mind if you say to me, we want to keep kids out of the tobacco game. Grandma? Grandma can do anything grandma wants. Well, and the other thing, too, is we need to discuss how vaping has helped so many smokers around the world quit smoking. I've got a friend, a mutual friend of ours, Tracy. Uh, she... Before she discovered vaping, she was smoking three packs of cigarettes a day. Was she really? Three packs a day. She was working out in Hollywood. She was a production assistant. And you wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, you grab your coffee, you start smoking, and they work 16, 17-hour days, and it's just one cigarette after another. And then she discovered vaping. She tried everything else to quit, and she, and she tried vaping, and she absolutely got hooked on it, and now she's not smoking anymore. Well, first of all, that she got hooked on it, I think, counters the entire no, no, deal. No, 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 no. I mean hooked on the idea of not – by using that as a way to wean herself off. She quit smoking cold turkey. Yes, hooked on it was probably a poor choice of words. But we're not having a conversation about whether there are adverse health effects on the vaping. That's not our conversation. 
The conversation is elected officials who think they know good and can do good by lumping cigars in. There are flavored cigars and there are infused cigars. And while if you got rid of all of them, I don't think that you would have a strong effect on the premium cigar world. What you have is an open door. And more and more of these elected officials who don't know the difference, don't care about the difference, are they, they want to look the other way because they think that this is somehow doing good. This is my worry. This is the problem. And they do it all in the guise of for the children. And they don't pay attention to where that marketing is. And those people who are adults, as you're discussing it, Fingers, who want to be able to be treated and act like adults. And I don't appreciate government telling adults they can't do things that adults can do. Drives me nuts. And it feels like when you try to bring children into this, the discussion to try to justify regulating an industry. We have talked about it on several occasions. Today we are smoking the Camacho Liberty Series uh, 2021. 2021. You said it was $20 a stick. Right. No middle schooler is looking through their chums on the schoolyard and saying, you know what would be really cool today if we got ourselves some Camachos to smoke. They aren't marketed to children. And any cigar lounge, any tobacconist worth their salt, they won't even let a kid in. You walk in with your kid, they'll be like, nope. I've seen that happen a million times because that's how, how it's supposed to happen. Right. That's my worry here. And that's the, uh, the, the, the real ugliness of so much of what we see within the industry is that you have elected officials who not only don't understand, won't even listen to the argument about why they're making a mistake. So uh, it, it's, it's D.C. and you don't live in D.C. and whatever. I still think it's, 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 it's an issue. I still think it's a problem. Next story. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, and they made a big deal a few months ago that they wanted to say you are following an Apple podcast instead of subscribing, and we wondered why. Why are they making such a big deal about saying follow versus subscribing? Well, it's because Apple has launched a podcast subscription service where people can, you know, you can follow a podcast if they offer free content, but podcast providers now have the option to provide content that people can pay to subscribe to and that just launched and it's going to be very interesting to see how this unfolds apple's taking a 30 percent cut so they take a 30 percent cut in year one but if you're a subscriber in year two the content creator only pays out 15 percent to apple so it does go down the reason we bring it up is not because we're interested in charging for the podcast. That's not where we are. There have been conversations. We have been asked about other content, special content, additional content, additional reviews, additional in-depth, more of the interviews uh, that, that we like to do. And we've, we've looked at this as a, as a business model. And is there a business model in it? So this is really a question to you, Eat, Drink, Smoke Nation. Is there content that you will pay for what is that content? We're not even saying it's ours. Just as you take a look at the podcast world, right? When, when you look at things, what is the content that you would pay extra for? And what is that extra? Is it is it a dollar a month? Is it $3 a month? Is it $5 a month? Is it $42 a month? Because if it's $42 a month, man, are we going to make you happy. <laughs> but I, I wonder, you know, when, when is the moment that people say, no, I'm good. No, I'm solid. I got to admit, I am still a believer in, in, the, in the sponsorship way of doing it and making sure the content is, is solid and that the show is great and, and providing it out there. And for us, it's, it's, a, it's a weird mix because we're a radio show on over 65 stations across the country uh, and, and the podcast and we've got the video series coming out. So we, we do a lot of different things. We want to know. So go to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash eat, drink, smoke, and tell us. What is the kind of content you would pay extra for, and what? How much is that? We we want to do. You're our marketing study, guys. We want to know what that is. We're very very curious. It isn't part of our plan right now, but is there a plan? You tell us. This is Eat Drink Smoke. Did you know Audible isn't just for audiobooks? They have podcasts too, and you guessed it. Eat Drink Smoke is now on Audible. Listen to us there. Eat Drink Smoke. Father's Day, my people. It's upon us. So happy Father's Day, Fingers Malloy. 
Happy Father's Day to you. It is Eat, Drink, Smoke. I'm Tony Katz. That's Fingers Malloy, who is a father, by the way. Myself as well. Happy Father's Day. What makes the right gift for Father's Day in the world of cigars and bourbon? Now, I'll tell you, the Gentleman Jack is going to work. Fine gift for Father's Day. There are a lot of bourbons you can choose from. We're going to focus on the cigar here because you may go to the back deck, the back patio, and have a cigar with dad or grandpa. That might be the thing that you're looking to do. What is the cigar that works for Father's Day? Now, now, Fingers Malloy, a lot of options here, a lot of opportunities here. You can go with a cigar that, uh, you know, you, you got some time to spend with dad, or you're going to go with maybe a Robusto so that your time with dad is short, right? I'm not here to judge. That's not what I'm doing. There's also a cost factor involved here. So when we talk about this, right, different different strokes for different folks. What makes the right cigar for Father's Day? Fingers Malloy, what are you suggesting? What's the cigar you and your dad are going to hang out with? Well, we always talk about value on the show, and to me, one that packs a good punch when it comes to value is the punch after dinner cigar. Look what you did there. You see what I did there? Look what you did right there with the whole play on words and whatnot. Yeah, in 2018, it was number 12 on Cigar Aficionado's list of cigar, you know, the top 20 cigars of the year. Um, an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper. The, the filler is Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan. Uh, se- over seven inches long, 45 ring gauge. At that value, I mean, $7, 750 a stick. I think it's a great choice for dad. If we're talking about the idea of the value cigar, I'm going with the Oliva V because I can smoke an Oliva V anywhere. I, I was on vacation in Sedona, had the Oliva V Melania, which is a step up. Now, that cigar, depending on where you are, you'll probably find between $18 and $20. Nicaraguan all the way through. I can do an Oliva V absolutely positively anywhere. That's the Melania, the, the, the regular Oliva V probably 11 or $12. Now, I think people will describe this as a full cigar, not me. Medium cigar is is what this is. And really, in, in the size, whether you're going with that interesting Bellicoso shape or you're going with a, a, a Churchill shape, uh, you know, size, you're going to do right. And in that $11, $12, it's a classic smoke, uh, in my view. You're going to be able to enjoy it. Anywhere that you are, it works for all weather. And I would suggest the Oliva V to anyone. If money is no object, go on. The Davidoff, the 53, the special 53, the Capa Dominicana, that to me has been one of the more pleasurable smokes that I have had in a while. I just find it to work on every single level. So this is Dominican. Uh, throughout. It's six and an eighth uh, by 53. It's a perfecto, right? So perfecto refers to the fact that it's just a, a different shape, and it starts off at the tip, right? So the foot is this tip, and then it slowly builds up to that 53 ring gauge and then works throughout. It's got a... T- the, the the cap is almost like a torpedo. So on both ends, it kind of comes to, to a point. A V-cut would work very well for this in a torpedo, so you're not cutting too much of the cigar, but you can do a straight... Just start small. You might find that you need to cut a little bit more if you're not getting a good enough draw. But that cigar, where you could be at $30 plus a cigar, if you're going to play in that money game, this is an absolutely fine way to do it with with the uh, with the special 53. I, I love it. We, we reviewed just a, a, maybe a month ago now uh, the special T. I think that would work as well. Letter T, special letter T from Davidoff. So the Oliva. Or, or, or that Davidoff, fine, fine work for Father's Day. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, really enjoyable uh, when you're out uh, on the deck with your grill. See, why? <laughs> why? Am I supposed to let everybody know that this Father's Day I won't be doing any grilling because I don't own a grill? Because I have grill paralysis? Because every single week, there you are asking me why I haven't gotten a grill and confusing me with your with your vicious grill mind games about you need a pellet no you need charcoal no you need a green egg no you need natural gas you're you're just a terrible person and this is why you don't get invited to the parties to be fair i've never told you to get natural gas that's true wait hold on that is true and for that i apologize but this is the weekend 
there are huge sales on grills. It's Father's Day weekend. People go out and they buy their dad a grill. The sales are everywhere. This is this is the weekend of Tony and grills right here, Father's Day weekend. Hold on. You think people buy their father a grill? I did. You did? Mm-hmm. Wait, you did? Yeah, 15 years ago I bought my dad a grill for Father's Day. He still has it. <laughs> Once every 15 years. <laughs> Whether he needs it or not. These things aren't disposable. I mean, 15 years is a good shelf life for a grill. He probably needs it. What did you get him? What did you what did you get your father? A Weber. So it's so it's propane. Mm -hmm. So you bought your father a propane grill. Because he would never go to uh, the lengths of getting charcoal and then putting it in a grill and then having to light it and be patient. Uh, See, you just turn me now now I now I'm now I'm lost. See, that's why I don't do it. I have no patience. I don't have it but you've seen me with my gravity series charcoal grill my grill lights and it's within 225 degrees in five minutes it's great i can't believe you buy somebody else a grill i think a grill is a very very personal thing it's like a suit no one buys hey dad i got you a suit (laughs) nobody you don't do that a suit has to be done on, uh, on your own or, or, or with one or two friends, and it's a very intimate, personal experience. You go, you go with friends to buy suits? Oh, sure. You go suit shopping with your pals? What am I supposed to do? Oh, let me, let me say, you want to know how old school I am? You bro out? Oh, on suits I do. <laughs> I do not believe that, that a man should go suit shopping with his wife. Okay. Absolutely, positively not. I think that a suit is a very, very personal experience. The idea of something that fits you and being able to explain it. You don't want somebody else's voice in in your head. It is not a question of what your wife likes. Your wife may want you to say, well, how does this dress look on me? How does this outfit look at me? In a suit, how do I feel in it? And that's not an attack on women. I won't. uh, No, 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 no. Do not bring that my way. (laughs) It is an emotional experience. I will tell you something that I have done. My days of buying suits off the rack are over. Oh. Now, I am not yet into the place where I'm doing full custom Italian, but I am doing customized. I have made this decision. I have reached a certain point. No shy in me whatsoever. I want that suit to fit. I want to know that clothes make the man. It is not even a question. Now, the man also makes the suit as as far as I'm concerned, but, oh, it is absolutely a personal experience. I hate suit shopping the last time i went suit shopping uh i walked into a store and a guy was fitting me and he said well you know uh this jacket may suit you better because you're a portly fellow he, he called me portly portly that was what, enough for me what do you tell people what you're wearing right now i am wearing my best harley t-shirt with my harley cap on and uh shorts and my uh converse right so, and, and am I or am I not wearing a blazer and, and, a, and, a, and a dress shirt? Yes. And, and what's funny is uh, in a couple of weeks, we're going to be flying out to Las Vegas. And I'm pretty much thinking this is exactly what we're going to be wearing. Will, and I will be in a full suit. <laughs> Remember, I'm the guy who wears a suit on a plane. Wow. I, I, I went to Arizona for vacation. Blazer. Uh, I, I actually did. I, I wore dress jeans, but I did wear uh, the dress shirt and, and, the, and the jacket. I I. I, I I live by that. Do you still have to wear a mask on a plane? Yes. So a suit with a mask on suit top. Suit with oh, mask. Oh, that sounds so comfortable. Right? And it, it wasn't a designer mask. It was <laughs> It was one of the disposable ones. You buy those off the rack, do you? Uh, I do. <laughs> the, the masks I buy <laughs> off the rack. The suit is it. So that's that for Father's Day, right? You, you, you can get yourself uh, the punch, get yourself the Oliva V, get yourself uh, that uh, Davidoff, uh, the, the 53 special, the special 53 or this right here, the Liberty Series from Camacho. The Camacho Liberty Series 2021. It's going to do you right. And a bottle of Gentleman Jack. That is the way to celebrate Father's Day, people. That's the way to celebrate Independence Day. That is the way to celebrate America. Enjoy it. And go to EatDrinkSmokeShow.com for everything that we're doing. And get that podcast. It's free. This is Eat, Drink, Smoke.